officer. Business leaders say the Albuquerque economy took a hit when the DOJ criticized the police department's excessive use of force. Now APD and the businesses want to improve the city's image. Action 7 News reporter Regina Reese is here to explain the efforts being made. Doug, for companies looking to come to Albuquerque in recent years, a quick search of the city's news pulled up dozens of officer-involved shootings and the Department of Justice slamming APD for excessive force. Now APD wants to change that image. These images made national headlines. The strain between the Albuquerque Police Department and the community thrust into the spotlight. The ripple effect? Concerns about damage to the economy and local businesses. If people don't feel safe, our businesses don't grow, PM doesn't grow, their economy doesn't grow, and it ends up having a negative spiral on Albuquerque and New Mexico when people don't feel good about coming here. Now, APD is working on repairing the relationship with the community and fixing chronic problems in the department, highlighted by the Department of Justice this year. Efforts to bridge that gap happened today. At a luncheon with Chamber of Commerce members. This is going to be a journey. This problem's been going on for a while and it's not going to get fixed overnight. Albuquerque Police Chief Gordon Eden updated business leaders about the department's reforms from recruiting to internal affairs investigations and training. Our new uh, CIT training for all of our police officers, just not our CIT teams. But these are all things that. Um, we want the business community to know that we're working on efforts to move forward as a department and community. We all need to have patience and we all need to learn to communicate and trust each other. Chief Eden has met several times with business leaders to discuss reforms and recently went to Las Vegas with the Chamber of Commerce to see reforms firsthand in that city. Back to you. Eden also plans to meet with the Los Angeles Police Department by the end of the year. Recent changes